What are some science tools? Field trips. Field scientists go on location to investigate the natural world. Field scientists may use tools such as a collecting net, a hand lens, and a camera to complete and record investigations. Into the lab. In the lab, computers and other heavy or expensive instruments can be used to complete investigations. Some instruments used by scientists in the lab include light microscopes, droppers, electron microscopes, and pipettes. All scientists must be comfortable using numbers to complete investigations. Light microscopes. Microscopic things are too small to see with just your eyes. Light microscopes magnify things, or make them look bigger. The object is placed on a glass slide and light passes through the object and two lenses. The eyepiece helps to focus the image. Dropper. A dropper is a tube with a rubber bulb on one end. Liquids can be sucked up the tube and dropped out of the tube by squeezing and releasing the bulb. Electron microscope. A scanning electron microscope SEM, can magnify an object up to 1 million times. The SEM shoots a beam of electrons at the object. An image of the surface of the object appears on the computer screen. Pipette. Pipettes are similar to droppers, but are more exact and can add or remove very small amounts of liquids. Markings on a pipette can help a scientist measure the volume of a liquid. Measuring up. When you measure, you make an observation involving numbers and units. Scientists use International System SI, units, or the metric system, to make observations involving numbers. Metric system units are based on multiples of 10. Measuring length. Length is the distance between two points. The base metric unit of length is the meter. Rulers. Meter sticks. Calipers. And tape measures are tools used to measure length. Measuring time. Time describes how long events take. The base unit of time is the second. Clocks. Stopwatches. Timers. And calendars are some of the tools used to measure time. Measuring temperature. Temperature describes how hot or cold something is. Scientists measure temperature in degrees Celsius. Another unit used to measure temperature is degrees Fahrenheit. Thermometers are used to measure temperature. Balances. A balance is a tool used to measure mass. A pan balance is a type of a balance. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. The base unit of mass is the kilogram. A triple beam balance is more exact than a pan balance. An electronic balance calculates the mass of an object and displays the mass on a screen. How strong? A spring scale measures force, or a push or a pull. The force of gravity, or an object's weight, is measured when an object hangs from the scale. The base unit of force is called a newton. More measuring. Units of volume. Volume is the amount of space that a solid, liquid, or gas takes up. The base metric units for measuring volume are the cubic meter and the liter. The cubic meter is one meter long, one meter high, and one meter wide. The liter is the base unit often used to measure the volume of liquids. Finding volume. One cubic centimeter CM3, is equal to one milliliter ML. Finding volume. Volume of a rectangular prism, multiply the length times with times height of that object. Volume of an irregular solid, put water in a graduated cylinder and note the volume. Add the object and note the new volume. The volume of the object is equal to the final liquid volume minus the starting liquid volume. Finding volume. Liquid volume can be measured using a measuring cup. Beaker. Or graduated cylinder. Liquids form a meniscus, or curve, in a graduated cylinder. Always measure volume from the center of the meniscus. Accurate measurements. When a measurement is close to the true size, it is accurate. To measure accurately, handle tools properly, and use the tools the same way every time. Also, make sure to measure to the smallest place value the tool allows. Measure twice. 
and record measurements carefully. If you like our videos, subscribe to the channel to receive every new video. This is Teaching Oasis.